So if you're wondering what's going on with my hair, I am trying to lay my hair and also I'm ready to start my makeup so I don't keep procrastinating. So I went and bought a crap ton of makeup. You get to see all the fun stuff that I bought and I'm really excited about it actually. So I'm just gonna pull things out of this black bag like Mary Poppins and be like, look, look there's something else. Um, yeah, let me refresh myself on what the heck I bought though because I don't want to forget as I do this tutorial. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What? That's crazy. Thank God for credit cards. Anyway, first thing I'm going to put on my face is this Fresh Sugar Citrus Rush. Rush? I can't even talk. You can't see it. It is a $30 chapstick. Um, why did I purchase it? Because I was like, you know what? My lips be crusty. And maybe this $30 chapstick will change the crust level of my lips. So here my lips are very, very crustlicious. Um, it says it's an infused lip treatment. What is it infused with? I don't think it's cannabis, so I don't... I think it's infused with citrus. Oh, you! This isn't a normal, you know, pull open. You have to twist. You guys don't know how much, you do know how much I needed that because you saw me two seconds ago. Mm. I'm gonna go do my brows off camera because I have the attention span of a small squirrel and then I'll come back, okay? We are doing a Moulin Rouge inspired makeup look today. Um, where did I get this idea? I don't know, I was just driving in the car singing, you know, and I was like, Moulin Rouge, and that's what happened. And I found this look, which I think is a MAC face chart. Um, so I'm gonna show it to you, but so I'm gonna use this as inspiration. I don't know the, the original artist, um, but thank you for this beautiful look. I'm going to use this as inspiration. I think I'm gonna start with um, my eyes, obviously, but let's see. I'm gonna go on with this hot pink from my Morphe palette right there, yeah. And I'm just applying this like all the way up. Um, what I really like about um, a lot of the makeup looks nowadays is they take it all the way up to the brow line and it just gives you so much more space and space. So much space for activities. There's a lot going on with this liner. So what I'm gonna do is mark it out. So I feel like I like this angle better because then you get to see all of my strange facial expressions. Um, welcome to my third camera change of the day. I'm going with the red from the same Morphe palette. This is actually kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Cause it's like so wild. Like who who walks around like this? Who? Nobody. Actually people probably do, but not normal people. Just us eccentric ones. Okay, is this balanced? <gasps> wow, you wizard. Okay, marking things out really makes your life a lot easier. I know you guys can't see the markings, but the markings are like dark enough that I can like, pew, you know, get them going. Okay guys, um, I'm on the phone with my sister, so I'm just gonna do voiceovers at this point until we get out the phone. <laughs> All right, and so I'm gonna start off by cutting out my crease. To do this, I'm gonna use my P. Louise base and their cut carver. The cut carver is basically like an oil that you use to make all of your makeup like melt off. Here is how I mark where my crease should go, uh, just so I don't have any transfer of makeup. Okay, all right, I'm back. Kaya was telling me all of her drunk college stories. <laughs> So what I'm doing is blending in some of this red in the middle and I'm going to stop the red around my like arch of my brow. I'm going to take, okay, will you focus? I'm sorry. That hot pink and we're just going to blend the rest of it out. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Now I need to cut the front of this crease because you can see like this side is more like neat or whatever and then this one. This one is like disheveled and like not neat. <laughs> Excellent, yay! Clap, 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 clap. So we are going to use a this color chai from um, Carly Bible. I love this shade so much because it literally matches my skin perfectly and it's basically just like filling in all of the little creases from the P. Louise base and just setting it. This is where we can just ruin everything, you know? 
this is where things get sketchy. So we're gonna put more marks, right? I don't know why I hate doing this, but I think it's just because I'm not truly good at it, but we're gonna do it anyway. I did it. Okay. All right, don't get too excited, bitch, because you got to do another one. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the bottom of my uh, wing with a little bit of the P. Louise base. We're just applying P. Louise base literally freaking everywhere. So we have our duo glue and we have our foil. So what I'm gonna do, um, at least to start off with, I'm just gonna use the end of one of these brushes, right? Cause that seems like a good idea. And I'm going to place a little bit of glue and then like apply a tiny bit of the foil. Excellent, okay. And now, so I have my gold little flakes on there, right? Here, I'll zoom you in so you can see what it looks like. Okay. Let me go finish my face. I'm gonna finish my face off camera because that was gross. Because this has taken a very long time. If I'm ever like, why does it take me so long to do makeup? I am documenting it right now. It's because I did stop to have like five dance parties. It was a very wonderful time. But was it time like sensitive? No. The answer is no. Um any hooser. So we have done like the base of our makeup, but I almost forgot I have to show you all of my Sephora stuff. And that is very important because like I said, I spent a lot of money. Okay. So I'm going to show it to you. You're going to look at it and you're going to watch this. Okay. Sephora, Mary Poppins bag. Okay. Item number one. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready for this? Okay, what is this you may be asking? This is the, hold on, wow, sorry. I just kind of hurt myself a little bit by doing too much. Anyway, so this is the Pat McGrath um, Bridgerton palette, right? So they had this palette and then they had a eyeshadow palette I think that's what that was um and the freaking eyeshadow pal palette was sold out and I was like mm, how dare you all steal my palette but they had this one so here we are look at her she's really cute I like it I don't own anything Pat McGrath um because she's so expensive uh love black businesses support black businesses but it's the truth um so this is what I got look at her so it's a trio palette, it's a blush, or you get two different blushes and then you get a highlight. But I believe, okay, so this blush is more of a matte finish. This is more of an illuminating finish. And then this is a highlight, of course. So I'm gonna use all three. First color is called Divine Rose. Okay, so it's Divine Rose, Desert Orchid, and then Golden Nectar. That's beautiful. Golden Nectar, I don't know why that sounds dirty to me, but it does. Okay, so we're gonna go on with the first one because this is the matte shade. We're gonna apply that like a C on my cheeks. Oh yeah, she is, um, she needs to be broken. She has like a tough outer layer. That cute little flower, we're gonna destroy it immediately. Ooh, I like it. It's like a plummy color. Ooh, I, I kinda like this shade. I don't typically wear like red blushes, which is hilarious because I just spent so much on this palette, but maybe I will. <laughs> That's our first layer of blush, right? And then now we have the illuminating one. So I'm gonna go in with that one. Let's break. Oh yeah, that one's a lot more easy to use. So that's the illuminating one. I can't tell if you, I think you can tell. I can kind of tell. I think orange is kind of better for my skin tone. So it might've muted out that pink a little bit. Oh, this, this looks intense. You ready? That is amazing. Like, can I just bathe in this? 
Oh my God. That's a, wow, wow. I don't even know where to put this. I'm just putting it everywhere. So if I put a place and you're like, why the hell did she put highlight on her forehead? Well, I mean, I think I was just amazed. Oh my God, this is amazing. Honestly, I think the, the highlight, the highlight wins in this palette for me. Oh, I'm gonna, and it has like a weird like pink undertone that makes it work really well with this look specifically and this palette. Oh, I like it top. Yeah, I think that orange just kind of like illuminates everything. It's more like a bronzer on my skin tone, honestly, because I am already like an orange undertone. So it's on, I think that's what I would use this as is a bronzer, like a illuminating bronzer to bring your look together. Cause it is fully making me glow. Shine bright like a diamond. Put some more there. Oh, I love you. Oh, let's put on some more. Let's do it again. Next in my Mary Poppins bag of stuff from Sephora. So we, I love this. Like the, the formula is so smooth. You know, sometimes you get that nice wet look, but it's not actually a very smooth formula. This crap, I just like threw it on my face. Everything was perfect. I didn't have to fuss with it to make it blend out with the rest of my makeup. I have no complaints. Okay, next. I forgot about something that's so cool. That'll be for next time. You gotta wait for that one. Do you know what this is? So this is the Gwen Stefani Anaheim Shine Satin Lipstick. It's in the color Original Recipe. It is by Miss Hollaback Girl Gwen Stefani. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is what the lipstick looks like. So she is giving luxury. She is giving, you spent a lot of money on me. Congratulations. Stunning. I'm going to roll it all the way up for you. Look at that. Look at that baby. Okay, back down, back down. So we're gonna line my lips first with this um, Sephora lip liner in the color, I don't know, molasses. So now we're gonna use this. I'm scared. Beautiful. No complaints. Smells like vanilla. Blends beautifully. And um, also going on my whole like big lip spiel. Right here, I have such an issue getting lipsticks that are kind of too oily to stick right here. And this formula is really good. What's in here? My last item is <laughs> Pat McGrath. This is a lip gloss in the color Blitz Gold. So I'm sure you know what this is gonna look like. Do, 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 do. Pat McGrath. Look at that baby. And I saw this in the store. Oh, you can't really, t I don't think you can see how beautiful it is on camera, but I saw it in the store and I was like, I oh, need you. So I'm gonna swatch it on my hand real quick so you can see what it looks like. Oh yeah. And plus we're gonna have to put it on with a brush anyway because I'm, um, I'm not about to ruin my wand on the first day. And this wand, I just know she feels good. I just know it, I can tell. Okay, but look, this is what it looks like. Stop looking at me. Look at the lip gloss. I think you got it. I think you get it good enough. She is stunning. She is glittery. She is gold. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so for now, she is not, it's not a very sticky lip gloss. Very smooth, very hydrating, exactly what my dry lips need. And I wanna show you this. So it's beautiful, doing its job, right? Before the actual face chart that I wanted, or that I'm like inspiring this look off of, I kind of need more glitter, so I'm gonna have to add some on top of it. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. I need to finish my hair, then I'm gonna add some glitter on my lips, and then I'll show you the final look. 
I'll show you the final look. But those are all the items. Oh, just kidding. That's not all the items I'm going to show you today. And I also got these um, spicy, dramatic lashes from Sephora. So if you are curious what lashes I'm going to be wearing, it's going to be these puppies. They said feisty. They said dramatic. And I was like, okay, that's probably exactly what I want. So that's what we're going to do. And I will be right back. Okay, and this is my final look. Um, what do I think about it? I feel like I really look like a street walker, but I guess that's the whole point of Moulin Rouge, so I guess I did a good job. Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I will see you next time. Peace.